Well, hello everyone. This is my first uh, video for my build log on uh, making an astromech droid. I'm planning on making a styrene droid with an aluminum skins, and aluminum dome, and hopefully uh, a 232 as well. Uh, I haven't actually started building the droid yet. Um, some people start with the dome, some with the body. What I thought I would do is to start with the electronics and all of the programming. Uh, I find that usually the hardest, especially the programming for me. Uh, but luckily, um, I'm able to use Dan Krause's uh, sketch for the Xbox 360. So before I show you uh, what I've built so far, I wanted to show you um, something that I have for my Xbox 360 controller. <clears throat> um, I was at Universal Studios a few years ago, and I bought this lunch kit, and I didn't really know what to do with it. So I th ended up using it as a, a container uh, with a foam insert to hold my uh, controller. So um, that's what I'm going to be using it for. So uh, now that I have it out, I can show you um, how this board works. So this is um, my proof of concept board, what I call it. Uh, it holds all of the electronics uh, or most of the electronics um, for R2. And uh, everything functions on here. I just wanted to make sure everything's working before I actually start my droid. Um, so this is just a mock-up of, um, you know, some, some of the most of the stuff anyways. So down below here, I have a power supply. It's a 20 amp, 12 volt, uh, just to um, power everything up. <clears throat> and then these are just some windshield wiper motors. They're not the actual motors that'll drive R2, but these are just a mock-up to make sure everything's working. Uh, over here, I have my, um, this is a screw terminal shield for Arduino uh, uh, Mega, which is underneath. And it's all on this housing that I 3D printed. I've designed that. It's on Thingiverse. And everything here that I'm showing you is linked on a handbook that I'm creating. And it's on the first page of my bill log. On top of that is stacked the USB host shield. And it goes over to the, um, the wireless receiver there. Um, right above it, I have um, my MP3 player and a ground loop isolator for noise pops. And every now and then I've put a 5 volt regulator in, but eventually I'll go with uh, a larger regulator that will handle uh, enough power for all of the um, body electronics. Uh, over here, I've got my saber tooth um, for the drive motors, and then I've got my Siren 10 for the dome motor. And for a temporary dome motor, I'm just using this motor here that will spin this uh, disc. Uh, to show you that it's working. Uh, I have an amplifier right here with just a single speaker for now. And on my R2, I'm going to have um, seven panels open. Well, I'm going to have the two utility arms. So these are just temporary servos to show that that works. I've got my computer interface, the large door on the left, or sorry, on the right, uh, the charge bay and a peripheral interface uh, panel, plus the large door on his left, and then the logic panels um, I have a panel right there uh, that serves was attached to that one. So all of these are controlled via uh, I square C and it goes to this um, 16 channel server driver board. <clears throat> and everything from here down is in the body. And then from basically here up is in the dome. So um, I don't have all the dome. Um, lights in. I just um, have the hollow projectors and these aren't the ones I'm going to be using. This is just a draft. I printed these off of Thingiverse and I'm using uh, Filthy Sketch. I'm using serial communication to activate those. So he's got his own um, 16 channel server driver back in there. Um, I don't have a slip ring in yet um, but right now I've just got these um, terminals here where I can screw things in. I've got a 12 volt, a ground, common ground, um, I square C, SDA, and SCL, and then five volts for all the electronics that need five volts it's coming from this larger um, five volt regulator. Okay. Um, I'm going to have 12 of my dome panels open, and this is just a mock up of all of that. And these are the Pi panels. There's four of them. And then one's going to be for the hollow projector and the other one's going to be hopefully for a periscope or a scanner, something like that. And they're all controlled via this 16 channel servo driver, uh, which goes to SDA and SCL. Um, the other thing I don't have on my board is a fuse block uh, because I don't have uh, anything taking that much power right now, but eventually I'll have a 
fuse pa uh, fuse panel in for all of that, plus uh, the correct gauge wiring for all of it. So I'm just going to power it up. I can show you how it works. And uh, I'll just turn on my Xbox. There we go. And turn on the switch to activate all of this. And I have my confirmation tone. All right, so I'll just kind of activate the motors to show you that they work. So I will engage them. So forward, backwards and left and right. And um, back here, and then I have my dome motor, works as well. And then I can pick uh, different sounds to come out of the speaker. All right, so now I'll show you how the servos work. Uh, let's start with the body servos. Let's... Um, Let's go to <clears throat> start off with, say, these guys here. Oh, sorry. That's my, uh, let's do the hollow projectors while we're at it. So this is just scanning. I'll do that one again for you. You can see different colors there. And then I've got the Leia. Working. And then short circuit. So that's just to show you that those all um, are working. Okay. So um, as far as the dome or the body goes, those are the body panels. And then here's my utility arms. They all, all work. And then looking up at the dome, all the panels there, I've got a wave sequence I programmed in. So I think that's pretty much everything. The last thing I wanted to show you is I got a, a great idea from Max Thang. He has a wave goodbye feature. So I've got a uh, dome panel seven that'll just wave goodbye, plus an audio clip from the robot from Star Tours that introduces Star Tours to everybody. So when I shut off my controller, this is what happens. Bye -bye. All right. I hope you like that. Thanks for watching.